Greetings. My name is Isa Bokar Se. Um, on this session, I'm here to stretch a thread of investigations pertaining to former army officers under the former government. Being Jola is definitely not a guarantee that the person, the official or the officer is loyal to Yaya Jame, which is going to be proven by our analysis today. Just to name a few, former State Guard officer Baji, who was a weapon specialist or who is a weapon specialist and was trained in Pakistan was obviously not in the good books of Yajame. They fell apart and Baji has been living in exile for almost 10 years now. And uh, he's been fighting tooth and nail I mean, to dislodge Yahya Jame. That is a fact we should know and it cannot be omitted out of Gambia's history. And the former State House cook, Ibu Jaju, a Jola also, was accused of trying to poison and kill the former president, Jame. Jaju escaped the hit squad of State House and was living in exile, began with Karang and has been shuttling between Karang and Kidugu and Dakar until recently that his case was finalized when they signed the voluntary repatriation form under the UNHCR and Baji was of course accused of trying to kill Yahya Jame. And then former state guard and Sutamba, who some people believe shouldn't be part of this list because they believe he's been associated with Yahya Jame. But based on investigations we conducted, we are after facts. There was a time that Ansu tried his best to find a way of ending the regime. I believe he knows what I'm talking about, but Ansu couldn't do much about that. Therefore, he was alone. If he remains a loyalist today, of course, there was a time that his name featured and his activities featured on activities that were geared towards ending the regime. So, also, we have reviewed and revisited the case of former CDS Usman Baj. According to what we have discovered, even if it contradicts our former position, we have nothing personal against Usman. What we are after are facts, and we are always guided by those facts, and we fear Allah and nothing else. According to investigations we conducted, um, Usman himself should understand that if he were in our position also, he might have acted the same way and suspect some of us. But as far as I'm concerned, I is a bogarsi. The people who know me and know the way we operate, I would never ever hesitate to expose facts and truth that contradict what I investigated and then found out about somebody if those facts that are the latest contradict the original position. Because this is not about how I feel or what I want it to be. This is about giving out facts to help shape a country and then guide it towards stability and progress. Therefore, Usman Baji, we have discovered that in fact was educated at a primary school where I believe my father taught. I don't know whether he met my father there or not, but we are conducting investigations and we are after facts. The people we have talked to have confirmed that Usman is indeed the same Usman he was presenting to people and uh, he is a man of peace and he is a stabilizer and uh, that would contradict some of the belief that some of us had and we are going to make sure that it is understood and everybody consumes that message in the most appropriate way. And then afterwards, for officers like Musa Savage, M.A. Ba and others, and Yankuba Baji, the reports we received, and Sol Baji, of course, the reports we received about these people remain the same. In fact, there are more reports coming 
to confirm the adverse side of their characters and what they represented as far as torture and maiming is concerned. So we cannot talk about the good side of those people. And also, um, former, I mean, Lieutenant Colonel and the head of the military intelligence in Yundum Barracks, we have also discovered that Malau, we used to call him at the gendarmerie, um, is someone who had a point of contact within the opposition. And of course, we know the man's name, the person who he used to contact to share information with him. Therefore, Malau is not what we thought and what many thought. He, of course, used to communicate with Jami, and uh, for every natural reason he had to, because he was heading the military intel. Therefore, if one side of the story was to be heard, we would all believe that he was talking to Jami, and that could destabilize the country after he left. But the other side of the story has now been discovered that, on the whole, Malau was doing so to cover his real intentions, because if he was to be discovered, he was to be killed. We are after facts. We are not after speculations. We are not after vendetta. We have nothing against these people. In fact, these are people some of whom I've never met in, my, met in my life. So we are officially operating here to make sure that our country understands. These are our brothers and sisters, particularly brothers, and therefore we have no reason to stain them if we discover something that contradicts what stains them. But we are not going to exonerate anybody whose case, of course, is a stain on Gambia's history, and you have participated in torture and killing, which is the very reason why no one will be able to exonerate people like Yakuba Baji and others. Thank you very much, brothers and sisters.